Welcome back. Today I'll be making dough made with semolina flour. I also have hot water and a pinch of salt. Having the water hot allows the flour to hydrate quicker and we can work in all the flour instead of leaving some behind while mixing. Begin by adding a third of the water and swirling your hands around. We don't want to encourage lumps, so keep breaking up pieces and exposing wet areas. Semolina is a coarser flour, higher in protein content than a soft double zero flour, which we used when we made egg dough. Repeat the mixing technique for the rest of the water. Our end goal is to have all the flour hydrated. You can see it's coming together into bigger pieces. Keep breaking them apart and evenly distributing the moisture. Here I press the dough a little bit and make sure all the flour is incorporated. You can see how rough the texture is, but generally it's not falling apart. All right, put it on the table and begin kneading. If it feels really dry, use this stage to correct that by adding water in a little bit at a time. And sometimes it's enough just to wet your hands. Now we get into kneading it. Quarter turn every time with force on the heel of your palm, stretching it across the table, not down into it. Now you can see the texture has changed. Keep kneading, it's becoming smoother and stronger. You can see I don't dig my fingers into the dough. They are relaxed and my palm is doing the work. So don't worry about speed more than practicing that technique. If you have to keep your fingers fully stretched out, do so. Almost there, but my dough still has the seam that I like to close up. So I'm going to add a little bit of water there and just lightly work the dough until it closes a little bit better. You have a little window with this recipe. I put 44 to 48% water, so you can consider 4 grams worth of extra water is okay until it's going to become too much. The shape will also determine how little or how much you put but I'll let you play around and see what works best for you. So very lightly knead. Uh, this is the best part. Like I said in my last video, occasionally wet your hands if the outside of the dough is feeling dry and that seam isn't closing. Wrap the dough and let it rest for 30 minutes to an hour. Most of the shapes made with this dough originate from the south of Italy. Every region has their own way of doing things, their own shapes, their own doughs. There's a lot of history there, so hopefully I can get to learning more about that. I'm going to show you how to make cavatelli. I like to cut off enough to make a decent sized rope. The more you cut it into the shape of the rope, the easier it will be to make. Make the rope by stretching it across the table, not into it, with firm tension. Cut about half inch squares, grab your board, and roll it across. You can do it on anything that's textured, like this board that I have here, a fork, or anything really. You'll notice texture on the inside from your thumb dragging it across. We want texture because that's how our sauce is going to stick and get caught in those hiding spots. We have to try to roll all of it evenly and stretch it enough so the pasta is enjoyable to eat and not too chewy. It's going to test the strength of your thumb a little bit, so figure out the best setup for you that makes it quick, easy, and enjoyable. Dry the surface a bit uncovered on the counter or in the fridge. Just don't stack them or they'll stick. Until next time.
leave me a comment and enjoy. Check the link below for recipes and ideas.